when we meditate, we're creating a home for the mind. As the Buddha said, the mind lives in different homes, so we want to create a good home. Your vihara here is something you want to protect, because otherwise you go creating a home out middle of nowhere, out exposed to things. Or your home is like a bus station. Anybody can come in, anybody can go out. So you've got to protect this home. This is what restraint is all about. There's restraint of the eyes, ears, nose, tongue, body, and mind. That's restraint about what's coming in. And then there's restraint over your words, restraint over your actions. That's what's coming out of the house. So you want to make sure that the doors and the windows are things that you can open and close at will. In other words, some things when you look at them you know are going to create great sense of lust or sense of anger. So why look at them? Or if you're going to look at them, make sure that you make make sure that no lust or anger arises. Look at them in a way that lets you see their other side. This is called having doors and windows that you can open and close. To make sure that bad people don't come into the house. Otherwise it turns into a bus station. All kinds of drug deals are going on in the corners and who knows what's going on in the bathrooms. Because there's no control about who, who comes and who goes. As for the going out, you have to be very careful about what you say and what you do. But the words, are, it seems, are the easiest way for us to, to slip. It's so easy to say something that we later regret. So you have to be very careful before you say something. As the Buddha said, ask yourself first, is it true? If it's true, then the next question is, is it beneficial? Then, through, okay, if it's beneficial and true, then the next question is, is this the right time to say something friendly or the right time to say something critical? In other words, it is okay sometimes to say critical things, but you have to look for the right time and the right place. And sometimes there are nice things you could say, but it's not the right time to say them. So you have to be very careful about when you open and close these windows and doors and who's coming in, who's going out. If you're careful this way, then the bus station turns into a home. You can go into all the different rooms of the house and there's nobody dangerous in there. So make sure you take care of this home for the mind here. It's not something to look after only when you're sitting here with your eyes closed. Try to look after it as you go through the day. When you go shopping, when you go online, make sure that you've got your windows and doors well under control. Otherwise you end up buying things and doing things that you later regret. When you turn on the TV, when you turn on the internet, make sure you're very careful about what you listen to or what you look at, because these things can have a really bad impact on the mind if you're not careful. So remember that the state of your mind is the most important thing you need to protect and do everything you can to give it a good home so it has shelter and it has a place of safety that it can retire to.